Hello guys and welcome to the Marvelous Enlightenment channel. I am Marv. Thank you so much for being here. This is going to be the October 2021 monthly energy message for the beautiful collective of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, and Mars. And I am going to tell you, just like I've told all of the zodiac signs previous to you, I say that because if you want this to um, apply to your life on a more broader perspective you can apply to any one of those um, planets or your life if you're here um, because of a more astrological type of meaning i would say that it would definitely apply to you more if you are pisces sun and pisces rising if you wanted to apply to you from an astrological standpoint okay all right so everything that you need is below in the description box a few things before we get started pisces you could text the question now for 725-202-7060 if you're well if you're interested in um asking a one-off question or a preset question the presets of what you can ask and you can hashtag text the hashtag to that number it will take you to, directly to the link okay if you're interested in just getting questions answered on a monthly basis, there is now a new subscription that I am offering over on that particular platform. You can go text for information um, for that. Now, if questions is not your jam and you are interested in a full-blown tarot service, I do offer a wide variety of readings in various formats. So go and check that out. That link is below in the description box as well. If you want to book a reading with me, check me out in action on my main channel readings by Marvelous Madame Tarot. And you can go ahead and get your general energy for your collective. Now, Pisces, I am going to be referencing a full moon. I'm sorry, a new moon in Leo. Leo Libra in this video. Um, we went live during that full uh, new moon in Libra about six ish days ago, and your particular collective brought down. Um, had a new moon affirmation and there was an additional message for your collective. If you're interested in knowing what that is, please go on my website. If you don't feel like putzing around on the channel and looking for the actual video, www.marvelousmadam.com on the um, October page, you're going to see the, um, if you scroll down to the bottom, you're going to see not only that live video, which is timestamped, you can go just pick, click right on Pisces, Sun, or Rising. Um, you'll get your new moon affirmation. And then underneath that will be the SoundCloud, my SoundCloud account, where I put all of the additional messages verbally, the audio of that message that your, me that your energy brought down that night. And that was by way of the Love Answer Oracles card. So that was an interesting, interesting reading. Um, and what we do is there is a monthly horoscope as well as a new moon and full moon live reading. We used to do that on this particular channel, but it's just not working out that way. So I will be linking um, those lives um, and giving you information about those full moons and that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and get started. The card of your overall energy this month is homework. You're being guided to take yourself out on a date Pisces collective. This is the card of 42. Four plus two obviously is six. Six brings tri triumphs into your life. So but you're being guided to go homeward and focus on inward, taking yourself out on a date. You're being guided, Pisces Collective, to slow down. It's a time to press pause and contemplate before the next big leg of your journey. In those solitary, introspective moments where we learn the most interesting and eye-opening things about ourselves, take yourself out on a date of sorts. And even if it's just a quiet, cozy night at home, you're being guided to enjoy your own company. And that is overall what you are guided to do remember you're being guided to take yourself out on a date your first cross um obviously is whatever house is hitting you in which you can go and find that information on those resources that i named at the beginning of the video um and then libra season brings balance and justice so you will do yourself a justice by going homeward in yourself and uh, taking yourself out on a date now we're going to go into your spiritual message, and this is going to be by way of the Divine Abundance Oracle deck, and you're being guided spiritually to practice humility, okay? Allow me, Divine, to always accept the right assistance. I welcome your help in every way and delight in receiving it. Also, you're being guided to companionship, okay? Giving someone your complete presence is an astonishing gift. There is someone that you have in your energy 
right now that you are looking toward to uh, obviously give the companionship that they deserve Pisces and to do so with humility okay that is a beautiful message so think about how you can bring balance into those areas of your life as well now we're going in with what I consider the closing energy, which is going to give us an additional message, round the energy out, as well as give us our additional crosses. The crosses, what's crossing with your energy, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent. Who is coming in between that? Who is this energy for? What is the specific message? There's a lot in this card that gives us just a little bit more energy, okay? Oh, and you got two. Ah, you get you got the card of energy. Check that out. So you got the card of oh continuance, which is the apple. Ooh, and Pisces, you got energy. All right, all right. Let's get into this. So you have the card of twenty six and the card of twenty eight. First, we're going to start with apple. Let it be known that you got two fruit. Okay, so I know off the top that this is definitely fruit of course we know that and i know by you dealing with two fruit you are uh, connecting with another water energy cancer pisces or scorpio okay that's our another uh, another cross for you all right so we're going to start off with the card of apple and this looks like that looks like leo is that leo the card of 26 Ah, you're crossing with a Capricorn. So this is the card of continuance, okay? Continuance. So, immortality, prosperity, love, spirit realm, and blockages. This is a celestial tie with Venus, and this is the astrological sign of Capricorn that you may be connecting with. But keep in mind that fruits um, need water to grow and you also could be connecting with someone um, or have this in your chart. Any type of cross means either you have it in your chart, you're connecting with the person or this is the energy that you're being guided to kind of embody. Uh, one of the three. OK, when I say cross, that's what that means. So the future is assured and hope is all around you for whatever is going on at the moment. Now is a brilliant time to work on your vision for the future, on goals, and reevaluate and past decisions, Spices. Apples also align with the energy of love, especially on bringing romantic bonds closer. Look at the individual elements of the situation a little bit more closely and be sure that you stand strong in your unique qualities. Keep your ideas to yourself at the moment. So someone definitely is the apple of your eye. You do have the card of companionship. Um, the continuance card. Immortality, prosperity, love, spirit, realm, blockages. Uh, this is a Venus energy. And the astrological sign, again, is Capricorn. All right. So you're looking at reevaluating your past um, decisions. And you want to continue this romantic um, uh, relationship that you have with this particular companion, okay? You are ready to give someone your complete presence, which is beautiful, okay? All right. So again, with the card of 28, we still have water energy. So again, you're still crossing with Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. This is the card of 28. Let me just say uh, six, seven, eight. Um, continuance, um, that eight carries movement, that, that carries a vibration of movement, eight, nine, 10, this is completion. Okay. Um, orange. So this is wealth, divination, love, luck, and willpower. This is the sun. This is your happiness. And the astrological sign that crosses with this Pisces is Virgo. Adventure and rapid progress are indicated, and it is specifically anchored to your true purpose and direction that you're currently taking. Oranges that oranges indicate that anything is possible, although you need to get the willpower, get that willpower working hard. There will be some challenges, but you can overcome them and someone around you may need extra support at this time. Be wary of apathy, of losing interest too soon before giving something a real chance and of negativity. It looks like this is apples and oranges, the continuance to Put the necessary energy in very diligently to bring and, and do it from a place of humility 
and give a companion your full presence is what is going on with you this month. Um, and you are being guided not to say anything right now, obviously, because Mercury is in retrograde. So right now you definitely are going home and yourself taking yourself out on a date because you're planning something. This is beautiful. OK, we have one additional card that I'm going to be choosing for you um, because of Mercury retrograde. So you got Virgo. You got Capricorn, so both are um, Earth energies and Libra season. So you have that Libra as well as both of these particular cards are being our fruit, apples and oranges. Um, and to me, that also we used to say that a lot in corporate America before I became my own boss. We would say you're comparing apples to oranges, which means that there is a difference between both. But in this particular case, I do believe that there is a difference in the person that you're with, possibly to me that I am intuiting that to mean that, yes, there is going to be some that difficult and there may be some challenges, but don't give up just because you see that because you're being guided to give to do something with this particular person. And you got all this connected. That is the card of 12. One plus two is three. Three carries the vibration of growth. It is time to grow and it's definitely time to put a newfound energy into um, a cycle. OK, so this is the card of 12 Pisces. And 12 is, where are we? All is connected. Transformation. I told you, growth, release, innovation, okay? A girl is, sits on a tree and holds leaves in her hands while others blow away in the wind. A small spider holds a few leaves together with his fine filament even though the winds threaten to tear them apart. Don't be afraid of changes. Release your fear by letting go. Change is often hard and painful, but it's the only way you grow. You may drift, but you will never lose yourself. Life goes on and nothing ends. It's simply reshaped into something new by the wind. Not better or worse, but different. And in that change lies wonder and openings. I believe that this message is very clear. That no matter what, you will not lose yourself to this. And this is the best thing for you, Pisces. This was a beautiful energy. Um, and I wish you and your companion the best of luck. Um, because what is coming out of this is going to be beautiful for the both of you guys. So if this is something that resonates with you, that's beautiful. You can drop it like it's hot in the comments. Or if you don't mind, you if you're interested in taking it one step further because you would like for me to read your energy, I've already invited you to the various tarot services um, and reading services, spiritual services that I offer. And I will see you next month in the next one. Bye, Pisces.